Hello YouTube, LogicaBuff99 here and today I'll be giving you a tutorial on how to photograph the moon and stars. What you'll need for this project is a DSLR camera or bridge camera. For this I'm going to be using my new D, uh, Nikon D3200. I'll also be needing an 18 to 55mm lens and a 300mm lens. You'll also need a tripod, um, a piece of card, preferably black but it doesn't matter too much a shutter release button or a timer release um, so first of all you're going to for the moon you're going to need the largest lens you have or zoom set your camera up on your tripod and for manual mode set to 1 1000th of a second at f 7.1 and iso of 200 so once you have that in your viewfinder um, you can simply press the button and then you can get some images like this one um, just here where you can clearly see the sea of tranquility and the Tycho Crater. So for the next one I'm going to be photographing some stars. Again manual mode with a shutter speed um, of 25 seconds at f6.3 and an ISO of 800 which allows more light to be gathered and more detail so therefore I can gather more starlight. So before I take my, my photo I'm going to place a piece of card in front of the lens so when I press the button, it doesn't. I don't get any shake, camera shake. And once I take my photo, I'll just take the card away. And then using this technique, you can get, can get some images just like these. Have things in the foreground, like my telescope here, and images of um, the International Space Station and stars. So for my final section, I'll be using a shutter release button. Now I have a delay of 2 seconds with a shutter speed of 20 seconds and intervals of 5 seconds. Um, and I'm going to be taking 40 images in this section. But I can change that by pressing the set button and going up and down using the key buttons. Um, but for this I'm just going to be keeping 40 and I can choose whether I want sound with it or not. And then I'll just press start and my camera will start taking photos. Now, at a later date, I'll be able to stack these photos and make images similar to these. I, I do this on Photoshop or something similar to the Photoshop. Um, and you can get some star trail images, and it's um, quite a good technique to use. So that's it for my tutorial, so thanks for watching. Um, you can like me on Facebook to um, get, tell me any ideas you may have for future videos, or any questions you may have, and you can also like and subscribe from this video. So thanks for watching um, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.